Uh, yeah, so let's get started. I have eight acrylic paints mixed out over here. We have a white, a pale yellow, a light pink, a darker purpley pink, a light blue, a darker blue, a light purple, and a darker purple. To start out, we're going to draw on the canvas the basics of our design. The setting of the painting is going to be at nighttime, and so we're going to have a big bright moon, uh, as well as a mountain landscape, which is very popular for winter schemes. I'm using a colored pencil to sketch on my canvas because it won't bleed into the paint. To start, draw a small circle near the top left corner of the canvas a few inches from the side. Then, two-thirds the way up from the bottom of the canvas, we're going to draw triangle mountaintop shapes. Upside down V shapes going slightly more down each time we draw another one. Until we reach the middle of the canvas, where we're going to draw a really big one. Work it across to the right side and then start another row of upside down V shapes an inch below the first row and connect it to the base of the very large one that you drew. Three inches below the mountain top shapes, we're going to draw curved hill shapes meeting in the middle and then draw a large squiggly shape between the hills. This will become a river later on. <laughs> Darken and define your shapes into how you like them. They don't have to be perfect. And remember, this is just a rough sketch you're going to paint over anyway, so there's no need for too many details. Now, take your dark blue paint and paint the entire sky to be this color. Paint around the circle as carefully as you can. Let it dry and apply a second coat. Now, quickly before the second layer dries, we're going to take the light blue paint and paint a few strokes around the circle. Move your brush back and forth between the two contrasting blues to make the paint blend. Also, add some strokes of the light blue paint above the mountain tops, outlining them. Blend the light blue into the dark blue here as well. You might need to add a bit more dark blue to the canvas to make it blend better if the paint has started to dry. <laughs> While this layer is still all wet, we're going to start on the moon and paint it with the light yellow paint. Drag your brush along the edges of the circle to lightly blend the yellow into the blue. This doesn't have to be perfect, you're going for a glowing moon effect. We will be painting a more solid circle of yellow for the moon later on. While the top part is drying, we're going to take the light blue paint and paint the top left mountain tops. Paint the big mountain with a layer of white and paint the right edge mountains with the blue again. This will help keep them separate. Now that it's dry, we're going to go back and add a top coat of yellow paint to the moon. Try to make the edge crisp this time. Add a more definitive layer of light blue paint around the moon. Add dark blue around the edges of that and blend it into the background again. Acrylic paint works in layers, so that's what we're doing. We're repeating the first steps and blending again and again until you're happy. Add a bit more light blue above the mountains. And now we finish up the details in the moon by adding dots of light pink and pink shades along the bottom. And I'm dotting the brush around to blend as well to add some moon-like texture. Now using the white paint, dot the moon for some highlight points and dry brush the white paint diagonally on the left sides of the mountain tops. Go back and forth lightly and be random. <laughs> Next, dry brush the light purple on the right sides of the mountain tops, as well as in the middle of the big mountain. And fill in the rest of the unpainted mountains with a light blue paint. Now with this next section of mountains, again paint the left sides with the white paint and add some random patches of white in between. Now using the dark blue, blend some shadows on the right sides of the mountains and in some random sections. Imperfections in paintings can sometimes help make it look more realistic. I'm going to add some shadows of light purple as well and fill in the spots where I think the darkest shadows would be with the dark purple paint. Add some white highlight points to the left tops of the mountains and add some dots of white in between to add texture. Now you paint in your river squiggle with the light blue paint and carry the light blue paint across the base of the mountains. And now using the white paint, we're going to paint in the left and right land sections. I'm going to add dark blue along the edges of the river and purple shadows below the snow in the river. And blend in shadows of light blue and light purple along the edges. Snow reflects the sky, so shadows and highlights in snow are often a bit bluish in tone. <laughs> and add some big dots of white in the middle for some extra snow. 
Go over the mountains with a few more lowlights, darker painted shadows, and highlights, dashes of white and light blue paint. Also, since water is reflective, we're going to use the same colors that we used for the moon and add little horizontal streaks across the water. And let's say it's snowing, so you tip your brush lightly in the light blue paint, hold it in a cross shape above the colored pencil you used, hold it above the canvas and strike the brush against the pencil. This will splatter the paint into little random dots. Lastly, I'm going to clean the paint up a bit and add a bit more details where I want to. Once you are completely happy and the painting is good and dry, using Mod Podge or another form of varnish, cover the entire painting. Acrylic paint is chalky, so Mod Podge will help gloss it, protect it, and bring out the vibrancy of the colors. If I'm using Mod Podge rather than varnish, I do always use a hair dryer to ensure the Mod Podge is really, really dry. And here's the finished winter landscape painting. follow this tutorial and paint one yourself, be sure to send me an image on Instagram, Twitter, or to my email. But that is it for today, and I will see you next week. Bye! Spies, spies, spies!